Hello everybody, welcome back to this playthrough of Thea the Awakening and in today's episode we are going to continue on with the tutorial as always. We're going to have a closer look at levelling up and see what happens there because we've currently got 10 out of 10 XP so every one of our characters should level up and we'll just see where it goes so let's jump into it. And before we do actually go any further, I have renamed um, our character in Colombia, I renamed um, him James. Um, after because we're, we're kind of going with the kings and queens theme because I didn't know what else to do so James obviously King James um, And then I didn't know what to actually rename um, To Myla um, so I just left it because I didn't know what to do or to Mila. I just left it So there we go. Um, so we'll jump into today's episode I don't know if I mentioned it at the end of the last episode But as you can see we are moving kind of through the day cycle and we're at night now So I think things are gonna get a little bit darker as we end the turn Turn 10. See, the thing is, we've gone through many turns, and I'm just trying not to press the um, press the Y button by accident because it ends the turn. Um, and it's kind of a mess. It's an accident, but there we go. And um, before we move this party, which is our expedition party, which has just gone and got that gold, who have we got in it? And how much food do we have? Okay, so yeah, okay, so we've got lots of blacksmiths in it, or crafters or whatever you want to call them, because it was a very much a, a, a negotiating task. How much food do we have? We seem to have plenty of food. Yeah, so I think we've definitely got a few more turns in us here. Um, so we'll just head off straight to Theodore's tutorial, which is going to take just over a turn to get there, which is frustrating. Okay, next time we'll get there, and we'll have to see what he thinks of that gold we're bringing back. You better like it, because it was a bit of hassle to get it. Right, have we got any notifications here? We do, and yeah, there we go. So our main notifications here are turn summary, uh, are the, sorry, improved abilities. So Expedition 1 has people that have improved abilities, and so does Columbia. So we'll start with the Expedition. So from leveling up, Victoria's gained plus one intelligence, Henry's gained plus one tactics, Tamila's gained plus one. Is that dexterity? No, oh, it's Will. It says it next to it. Alex, you're an idiot. I just zoned out then. So Tamila's gained plus one, Will. George's gained plus two dexterity. Elizabeth's gained plus one health. Um, Mary's gained plus one backstab, which sounds scary. And Charlie's gained plus two strength. Which is nice. So they're all kind of adding to their um, over, overall um, stats and, and abilities. Now this is where the game really sort of develops these characters individually. Because no one character will develop the same. So although you might have multiple warriors, um, they all gain different skills. So I think Elizabeth's a warrior and she's gained plus one health. But Henry was also a warrior has then gone and gained plus one tactic. So they're all going to have different strengths. So I just thought that was interesting. Let's see what's happened in Colombia then. Um, William plus one perception, Jane plus one will, gathering plus, um, gathering, her name's Anne, not gathering, no one's ever been christened gathering, or oh, whatever, um, Anne plus one gathering, Edward plus two strength, and James plus two strength, which is pretty decent, uh, plus two health even, um, so that'll be good for him, he should have decent health now, um, so yeah, that's interesting, and we have resource income, so we've got a bit of wood and vegetables yet, which is what we're going for now. If we can get plenty of wood, we can start working on improvements for Columbia, which is sort of the next step in what I'm wanting to do. I really want to try some of that out because although we're not going to do the full playthrough here, um, I really want to sort of get on to grips with that. Okay, we'll end another turn. Turn 11. Why do I keep doing it in a weird voice? Maybe it says a lot about me being a weirdo. Right, um, so we're going to go to the tutorial and see what he says next. I have not played beyond this in any game, by the way. I have very little time to play video games. Most of the time I'm recording if I am doing. Right, so let's see what he says. Theodore welcomes you. As always. Well, hello there. I see you're finding your feet and making first steps into the world. Well done. Thank you. We've got the gold for you. Oh, good. You got the gold. That wretched woman owes me, but I have no desire to speak to her. Anyway, it's a matter <laughs> of principles rather than the gold itself, so just keep it. You may need it to ah. craft better stuff, you know. Okay, so we can use it to craft. That's nice. He's let us keep the gold because it was a matter of principle. In social challenges, as you saw, you will face your opponent, but different skill sets become relevant, such as speech, attractiveness, and will. So just remember... Different challenges use different yeah. skills. 
and so your party composition can have a great impact on the way you explore the world. Agreed. As you perhaps noticed, you got research points as well as XP. You need research points to discover new materials and recipes for crafting and new buildings for your village. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so right, so I can, so I get both experience and research knowledge by exploring and even killing stuff. Got it. Now, you will notice that some equipment as well as buildings in your village require a lot of stuff, often things that are not easily gathered or commonly found. For such needs, I also recommend scouring the world map in search of old ruins, abandoned tunnels, ancient towers. You get the gist, right? It so happens that I know of an old dungeon that you can explore and loot. That I sounds awful. this place on your map. Okay, so that is where the next challenge is taking us. To a abandoned dungeon or an old dungeon, which sounds very scary. Hopefully it'll be abandoned, but somehow I don't think it will be. So rare materials are also found in the world, yet we can have a look at that on the map. Um, through both events and places of interest as well. Is there anything more I can bring you? Well, yes, I have a second task for you Ooh. to do at any time you're ready. Craft me ten cooked, baked or roasted food. Any type. You may want to research some varieties as well to match your supplies. Also, leave these ten crafted foods in the village until I show up. You don't have to rush with this one. Take your time and get to grips with managing your settlement. Remember to check the magical help button to read more. Yeah, I know. More about any mechanics okay okay so we're gonna have to craft 10 cooked baked or roasted food i only think we're cooking food i'm pretty sure the food we've been crafting or cooking for quite a while um fits this so that's good it seems like we're already on with that but i do want to try out more varieties um, and i'll try and remember to keep on with that oh nice so we've actually got another three experience points and two gold for com uh, two gold two um science points for completing that so that's really nice um, I'm really keen... Oh my god, that's a way away. Oh my god. Okay. That, well, we're going to have to put a party together for that. Um, but there's other things we can do while well, right. We don't necessarily have to follow the tutorial step by step. I'd quite like to go and see what we can do with the spider's nest. Um, I think that would be a good battle. We've got that we can loot. So we'll see. We'll make sure we're reminding ourselves and, and progressing with the tutorial. But there's plenty more we can be getting on with in the meantime as well. Right, so um, I'm very keen as well to keep progressing with the research. It'd be good to have some more research points. Um, because then we can start researching more buildings and, and weapons and stuff, which I want to do. I think we have enough food here. Um, how much food do we have? We have food for seven turns and a five for ten. So we have absolutely loads here. So I think before we head back and take the gold back to um, Columbia... I'd quite like to go and try out ourselves against the spider's nest. It's only got one skull above it, so I'm presuming it won't be that hard. We've got a few warriors in our ranks as well. I'm presuming it'll be a, a fighting challenge. Um, so we'll progress with that now and, and fight some spiders. I imagine they'll be bigger than the ones you get in your house. It could be very scary. Um, and also, in the tutorial, he was talking about resources on the map. You can access that by pressing the X button, which shows you all these lovely resources. Um, some are a lot better than others, because um, as you can see, there's lots and lots of wood about, and some are a lot rarer. So the rarer they are, the more powerful I'm presuming they are as well. They're at sea. That'd be interesting. We'd have to get them from sea. Nice. I look forward to trying stuff like that out. Okay. So we'll, we'll get that off now, and we will continue towards the spider's nest. Yep, we can't go there till next turn. The terrain's stopping us, so next turn we will go and have a look there. Um, anything else to do in Colombia? Doesn't look like it. We're still gathering. Um, how much? How much um, wood have we got here? We have. Are we burning all that wood? We better not be burning all that wood. That'd be stupid. Oh, good. Yes, we're only burning the wood which I'm allowing us to burn, um, which is just the standard wood. So we've got 33. How much do we need to actually craft something here? Um, I think we need more than that to build the only building we can currently build, which is a pasture. We need... Uh, we, yeah, we're going to need 35, but we don't want to use it all at once. So I think we're getting there, though. A few more turns of, uh, of gathering wood, and we should be um, really cracking on with that. Okay, I'll end another turn here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is disgusting. 
four times malicious spider. I've literally picked my feet. I saw them run out of the cave and I picked my feet up off the ground because that was so grim. Um, so skills used in... Okay, I think this looks very much like... Um, you start... It's a fight challenge. I'm pretty much sure it's on your, def your just your normal aggression and stuff. Let's have a quick look. You've got to be careful not to press the wrong button. Otherwise, you reset the tutorial and then have to go through it all again. It takes ages. Um... So I don't press the Y button by accident. Um, so we'll, I'm pretty sure it's just normal. Um, a normal fight one, a very bog standard fight, yeah. Challenge types, challenge skills. So a fight, yeah, damage, so yeah. You want damage and armor, which is very basic. Um, good for our warriors. We are gonna fight this one. We are gonna keep going through um, the battles to see what we could do. We don't have any poisonous um, Antidotes, I think, so we need to be careful with these spiders. If I play this badly, we could lose people. I don't want to do that. Right, I have no idea how this could be. There was obviously one skull above the spiders, so I'm presuming it's not that hard, but we'll see. Right, um, how's our hand here? I quite like Elizabeth in the offensive hand. I think that's worth switching around because Elizabeth is by far our strongest card with a 25 attack and 24 defense. We could really do with her in the offensive hand. So I think we will go for the reshuffle on this occasion. Um, yeah. Please. Oh, for God's sake. We have reshuffled there, right? Okay, we pressed cancel, that's why. We didn't, we didn't scroll across to continue. Right, yes, please. Oh, good. That is good. That is good. We have both our warriors now in our offensive hand, which is going to be a lot better. Uh, we've got some people in our offensive hand as well that I would arguably not want there. Um, but, you know, that'll be fine. Um, and we'll see what support we can play here. So, yeah, we'll keep that on play. Thank you. Oh, my God. These are crap. Oh, that's good. I mean, they're disgusting, but it looks like we should be able to deal with them, especially for all level 1 cards, but we'll see. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is... We've got two moves here as well, so it's, it's generated us two moves. I'm just going to get our two strongest warriors out there, um, because I think they could just deal with them very, very well. Um, you know what? I sort of think... Go, f go first action, possibly. With Elizabeth. You got 14. I mean, you're not going to be much good in the fight anyway. I'd like Elizabeth just to cut up the spiders quickly. Yeah, so we'll put her first. Okay. And then whatever the throw is, we're fine. Opponent's turn. Okay, another absolute crap spider. That's even worse. Wow, it's got it's got a one better defense, but one... Yeah, I'm not worried. It's got two... It's got one offense. It's like a house spider. And it's going in delayed. Uh, we'll put Henry in, so we'll just get our strongest cards in there. Oh, and because he, he's got Pearson, he's gone straight in and killed the card before he's even gone into the battle. I think that's Pearson, that's why he's done that. Opponent's turn, what are you going to play? It's going to be an absolutely awful spider here. Oh no, they've just took a card out of our tactical hand. They're trying to play this tactically, but this is just not going to work for them. I want... The, I'm going to... Um, you can just get closer, to be honest. I'm not really bothered about putting the other two in. I don't want to risk anybody's life. You've just got a really good attack, so... Your defense isn't too good at nine, though. Which, you know, a bit worried. Right, I'm going to leave these two. Yeah, I don't want to put them in. It's not worth it. I think we'll crush them anyway. Spider dead. Another spider dead. All spiders dead. They're going to have to put the... They've got one left, haven't they, from the tactical hand. Which is now dead. That was possibly the easiest battle ever. And it looks like we've got a couple of things. I mean, for a battle as easy as that, it's worth it just for the experience point and the science point. So plus one experience and plus one science is nice. Um, and we've also got, um, I don't think we have, is that string? Spider silk. I mean, that makes more sense getting from a spider, but it looks a lot like silk. Spider silk is delicate and silky to the touch, yet it's one of the strongest materials. Nice. Um, giant spiders, giant spider webs, and that's a crossbow, isn't it? 
uh, ritual crossbow. So we'll have to see how good that is. Um, if nothing else, we can um, take it for its materials, but it might be decent. I'd ha I'm going to have to have a closer look. Um, so bone crossbows were commonly used as ritual weapons, often part of sacred hunts or ritual shooting demonstrations. And we'll have to see how good it is. Range damage, six. Okay, that'll do. We'll compare it to what we've already got, really. Ooh, it's night time. That's probably why the spiders came out to play. Will there be more spiders in here? I'm presuming there'll be more spiders in there. There is more spiders in here. This could be an easy victory again. So you approach the beast and you have, t and you have time to decide your plan of action. I don't want to hunt these. I just want to fight them. I don't think there'll be anything. If it's anything like what we've faced, it'll just be easy. I think we'll just go for a straight up fight. We have strong cards here. Oh my, it's just four of the same type of spiders. I think it's pretty much round two of the same battle. And if it's anywhere near as easy, um, there's nothing to worry about. Right. Oh, damn. Dilemma here. So again, in our offensive hand, we've only got one of our warriors, but luckily this time it's Elizabeth who is our strongest warrior. Um, Henry is in the tactical hand. You know what? I think we're fine with that. I think that'll be fine. We can just put Henry and he'll have to come into the second phase. Elizabeth on her own is probably strong enough. And I don't want to risk having neither of them in the offensive hand by reshuffling. So we'll keep that in play. Okay, we, going first? we are going first. So obviously get Elizabeth into play. And let's see what they come back with. Oh, a spell. Spider again. Ooh, they just look disgusting. That's a better spider. That That is a half decent spider there. I mean, they're still rubbish, but it's a better spider. Um, Victoria might be quite good to send in here. Um, and then... I just, you might as well get these in because I think... I still think we'll do the spiders here. I'm... Down. We should have probably waited till they played one and then we could have used the piercing damage. Maybe I'm getting hang of this. Ish. Okay, that's another spider. Which is very scary. Um, and our last move, because I don't think we need to put absolutely everybody in. No, don't do that. I meant to put... Yeah, you go and get closer. And the piercing damage has killed one of the spiders already. That's good. I might even... Should I try and take that spider out of the other tactical hand and then it'll just be sort of easy to sweep up next time? We only can only use it on a level one. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll just... Okay, we can't do anything yet, actually. My bad. Oh no, another spider. I can't be bothered. Let's, ju let's just... We'll wait. I don't think we need to put these three in. I think Elizabeth will, will deal quite well with these on her own. I mean, yeah, that's a little bit of damage, but... I mean, they're down to the last spider. Now they're down to no spiders. Spider gone. Yeah, I didn't think we had to put everybody in. Oh, and we have... Oh, Victoria's got a little bit of a wound there, which we need to be careful of. I think we have the medic on board, though, which is pretty sweet. We've got some more of that silk stuff, spider silk, um, like we just got from the others. What the hell is this? A cooked bird. How is it cooked? Have the spiders cooked it? Um, two bird meat, two meat. Um, I'll think about that. But good news is we've got two experience points and one science, which is nice. So we've already up to six out of 11 experience points. It seems like every time you level up, you need more experience points to level up again. Um, but yeah, we have a few. Um, so six of 11 already is pretty good. Um, and I think we will send... They have, they have plenty of food. So before we go back to camp, we shall send these over here to see what there is. Hopefully there will not be much opposition and we can just get some nice um, loot. Right. So Columbia, we've got more wood in. It looks like we've got an extra seven, it's saying there. And a lot more vegetables, which is nice. Um, so I'm sure at the beginning... the remains of a very old burial site. Uh -oh. There are some large tombstones and crumbled crypts, all made of solid granite. There must have been an earthquake or some other great force has devastated this place. But this means you can very easily salvage the granite. I feel like salvaging a gr some granite from a burial site is a bit sick. I feel like karma-wise, yeah, it's not looking great. But... I 
I just doesn't sit right with me. We are we are quite a mean deity though, aren't we? If you look at us. Um. Normally I'd say no because it's a bit sick, and I think you should have values and probably not loot burial sites. But this is a time of great difficulty, and granite's another resource which we could maybe make use of. So I think we'll go ahead and try and collect it, but I'm pretty confident something's going to try and stop us. You go in closer to begin collecting the granite, but one of the fallen tombstones reveals a pile of bones that awakes to your touch and rises up to attack you. It doesn't sound great, does it? I mean, I think two skulls, a bit harder than what we faced before. I'm sure we could deal with them, but right now I don't think Gannet... Granite. Granite's that important. We could come back, I think. We'll run away for now. We'll do the brave thing and run away. Um, and that's going to allow us to actually focus once again. We'll go back. We'll take our stuff back. We'll um, see what we can do with our materials. I might do that off camera. What time are we on? Uh, yeah, probably will. And then we can get on with the tutorial. Because we've got two parts of this tutorial. We need to go and have a look at the dungeon over there. Um, and I think we've already pretty much cooked the meal, so... In the next episode, we will do both bits of the tutorial, or at least set off over there. Um, and we'll also... Probably more interestingly for me, um, is we'll go ahead and we'll craft. Um, we'll construct a pasture and see what we can do with that. And um, I'll also have a look in the next episode about the food and stuff we've got. So please do make sure you join me for that. I would go on a bit, but I want to make sure I can edit and upload this tonight. So thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying, I urge you to hit that like button. Um, and subscribe to the channel, obviously, if you are new. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video soon.